The current COVID-19 vaccine trials all have one element in common, for the volunteers to come into contact with the virus within the community. But with infection rates dropping, this could take months. So ethicists are arguing a quicker way would be human challenge trials, where volunteers are deliberately infected with the virus after being vaccinated. It sounds like a huge risk when you think about it first. It's a very deadly disease. We don't have a cure yet. You want to focus on very young and very healthy volunteers in whom severe outcomes from COVID, from this disease, are much rarer than in the general population. Volunteers like Dr. Gregory Lewis, who's one of 28,000 people to sign up to a database called One Day Sooner, which aims to speed up a vaccine. This could, if all goes well, bring a vaccine forward by maybe days, maybe weeks, maybe months, which could save many thousands of lives. The risk of doing so for someone like me is very small. One day sooner calculate that speeding up vaccine development by just one day would save 7,120 lives. By one week, it would be 55,000 lives. And by three months, more than half a million lives will be saved. These figures persuaded 23-year-old Gabrielle Kleinwax from Colorado, America, to volunteer. There's this saying that's been ingrained in me since a young age. For someone who saves a single life, it's as if they've saved an entire world. And so when I saw that there was this estimate that this many lives could be saved, I thought this could be, this might be one of the most important things I ever do. No human challenge trials are planned at the moment, but one day sooner say they're having confidential conversations and that they have funding in place for the controlled production of the virus and the test for working out how much to give to volunteers. Neither Greg nor Gavrielle expect to be paid. Volunteers will get expenses and medical insurance. But despite the large numbers who've signed up, only about a thousand will actually be needed. Nicola Hill, TRT World.